Well, this part of South Carolina, we're still a small town, but we got access to big towns around us. And probably the biggest Clemson it is is when we have a football game on Saturday and they fill up 85,000 <laughs> in the stadium. I came to Clemson in 2000. They pretty much let me manage just this way I see it. And I've really enjoyed that, you know, because I've run this just like it was mine. The old facilities moved in here in 1976. And we were getting to the point where we were going to have to do a bunch of renovations or a total new dairy operation. When we got to looking at the actual figures, this was going to come pretty close to what we could do. Same thing with a new parallel with all the bells and whistles. And we would have to build another building out. And this was where we were able to contain the robots. We've got a good group of young people coming in that's really more technology interested than I am. You know, technology seems to be driving a lot of stuff. You know, cows seem to like technology. And these students are going out into the real world and, and seeing that what they got here was very valuable for them to, to succeed as ag teachers or, or lenders or whatever they want to be involved. But we also see a coming market for people that can manage these kinds of operations. Because, I mean, this is coming, you know. It's, it's, it's really going to come on, I think, pretty strong in the next 10 years, the robotic side of it. And they're going to be looking for managers that can manage these things. So we hope to give those students that ability to go out and, and be a manager. I'm always about the relationship with the animal. I think that's what's always drawn me to animal science. It's why I'm here at Clemson. I've learned so much, everything from vaccinating to herding, everything when it comes to what goes into making good feed. and what volume of milk is gonna be your butter fat content. We even had to work a milking shift, which was really cool. Now that I'm here, I would never change that path for anything. And I love working with the kids. The kids have got an interest. Those are the guys that you hear the success stories on them out in the industry some way or the other. You know, we've even had students here that applied to vet school and didn't get in, then come work for me for a semester or two, and then reapplied and got in. There were registered cows here when I came in 2000. We kind of got the program rolling along and we have done some embryo transfer work to try to improve on genetics. We look at the type side of it, but we also try to keep in mind the production side too, because we're a state funded dairy, but we only get so much state funding at the beginning, then we take over on our revenue to keep this thing running. So we are a business. We have to operate this just like anybody in the dairy business. I like a genetic side of it, so I really kind of worked on more of the breeding and, you know, the matings and stuff like that. We made strides in production and genetics, and we've used available all hosting programs. We're a complete herd, which we get the DHRR records and get the, the mating services plus the classifications. And so we've used the hosting programs pretty regular here that I think has really advanced our genetic base. There is a lot of interest, you know, for the general public or dairymen to come in to Clemson to see what we are doing here as far as interest in the education part as well as the research. So we support the researchers on campus. We tried to do the education side of it more than anything else. And, you know, we get group tours that are basically advertised through Greenville newspapers or Greenville websites. And we also have our own website that, you know, kind of induces what we're doing here and what we see. Uh, we get a lot of repeats, you know, people that's been here and left and come back to see what's going on. We get a lot of school tours, a lot of young kids come through on school tours, and we get interest from those kids. You know, kids you never thought would be interested in this after they've been out to see stuff, they're interested enough to, to pursue it in school, too. Cow comfort is probably more important than a lot of people give credit for. You know, these cows, under these fans and under these sprinklers and then laying in sand bedding and rubbers down the walkways and automatic flush systems. You know, we get the thing from the public, well, you know, they're not out on grass anymore. These cows are so much more comfortable right here than they ever would be out on grass, especially on a 98 degree day, because all they're gonna do is huddle in the shade, you know, that, that kind of thing. So we've seen the quality improve. We've also seen milk production improve. We've seen components get better. So everything's been a big plus. And we've got a good crew of people that are capable of doing pretty much anything to help make things even better for the future.